Hey everyone, how's it going? We are starting a new series called Adventures in Science. And throughout the series, we're gonna take a look at the mysteries of God and his miracles and see how amazing our God is and his creation is as well. Today, we're gonna look at the main point and that is, is that God gave us the world and we need to take care of it. So here are the motions that we're gonna be doing this week, is that God gave us the world and we need to take care of it. All right, so God gave us the world and we need to take care of it. Okay, it's kinda of like we're rocking a baby. In fact, I've got a globe right here right now so it's like this, oh, God gave us this world and we need to take care of it. And it's true. God did create this entire world and he is relying on you and I to make sure that we take care of his creation. In fact, we're going to read about that with our Bible verse for today. And that's found in the book of Genesis. Genesis is the first book of the Bible and talks all about how God created everything. And so as we read from Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, it says these words. It says, God blessed them. He said to them, have children and increase your numbers. Fill the earth and bring it under your control. Rule over the fish of the waters and the birds of the air and rule over, rule over every living creature that moves on the ground. So God created everything and God created us in part to help take care of God's creation. And we need to think about some ways that we can do that. There are things that we can do at our house. There are things that we can do uh, when we're at school, when we go back to school, uh, and anywhere that we go. There, was, there are things that you can do uh, in your yard that you can see God's creation when you go in, on walks. God's creation is amazing. And it's partly our job to make sure that we take care of what God has made. So this week, we are looking at Dr. Oppenheimerstein and his assistant Flask as they look to try to achieve the Plutonium Award. And the next few weeks, we will continue to look at those two characters as they teach us about the mysteries of God and about his miracles. So hopefully you guys are doing okay. Uh, I miss seeing you. Hopefully I'll see you sometime soon. So take care and God bless.